DeSalvo Systems bringing us back this beauty, beautiful aluminum Raspberry Pi case. But this time you might notice all these holes throughout the whole thing. You might notice that now there's a ribbon cable. Now there's this beautiful markings on the bottom, maker block, hand etched or machine etched. And uh, this is a little small business making these from scratch. I mean, look at the specs here. Like, the dude is precise. And so, basically all these little holes are for some sort of maker project. So you can put a cluster on here, you can build a robot right on top of it, you can mount your sensors or whatever else you wanna do with it, you can wall mount it, you can mount it to just about anything, a transformer. Whatever, whatever your heart desires. My primary purpose of the video though is just to set it up and just do a quick heat test, overclock it, make sure everything like that is running well. So before I started this video, I already started to prep my pie. I do have a two gigabyte version here, so I need this little riser, a little bit of heat sink paste. If you wanna go all out, get Kingpin heat sink paste. If you're paying this kind of money for a case, you can afford a really nice heat sink paste, but just for the video here, I'll use the regular heat sink paste. And it'll be interesting to see if these holes actually make it dissipate heat more, because that kind of reminds me of like slotted disc brakes, right? Like the extra slots are supposed to help relieve the heat. I wonder if that's still the case here. Now look at that beauty inside. Wow. You guys seeing that? Wow, it's gorgeous. Nice. So pretty self-explanatory. Get your pie in here. SD card out the back. Mount the pie with the little screws included. Super fast with the electric screwdriver. I'm just gonna put in two screws just to kind of snug it into place. All right, and then make sure this is centered. Pancake it up. If you are attaching a ribbon cable, now would be the time to do it. And then our screws. You have access to all your ports, ports, ribbon cable hole, the bottom, SD card slot, and then the top and the bottom, I added the rubber feet. It's very secure, moves the whole paper. Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, so I am running a quick CPU test, and uh, so far only jumped 39 to 40 degrees. We are at full two gigahertz on the CPUs as it's performing this, and we're monitoring the temperature right there. I don't know if you can see it's bouncing between 39 and 40. Let me move this a lot closer. So here is his test as well, and he's actually got quite a bit hotter at the overclock. I overclocked mine as well, if you saw, two gigahertz. And again, you know, it depends on what you're playing, what you're doing, and also these do heat up over time. That being said, they're never gonna get close to the 70 degrees or so when your pie will start throttling. So there you have it. We did a couple benchmark tests with this thing. It's definitely warm to the touch, but nothing crazy. Now, obviously, real world versus benching marking is two different things, but to not have a fan on this thing, a lot of people don't realize that, that it's one thing that could go out at any day, especially a lot of those cheaper fans. So it being passively cooled is great. The other common complaint I get is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals, but I have to say that with these holes, and you can even see up here, I'm getting extremely good Wi-Fi signals. Now, obviously, the holes are not necessarily as ideal as a non-aluminum case, you know, or a plastic case, or, you know, something that's not gonna block the signals as much. But I think for the shorter distances, it's going to work fine. If you are going across your room with something, you might also need to add into your budget an external dongle, but that's up to you. Anyways, long story short, another beautiful work of art. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people are probably not gonna go out and buy this, but there are some people that like nice things and, and like the craftiness and will make something awesome with this. And for that, you know, I, can you really put a price on that? 
maybe you can. But uh, it's not for everyone. If you want something really nice and well made, this could be uh, for you. So that's what I think. Let me know you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.